You just gave me four years. Well, guess what? Have you ever wondered about the explosive moments that unfold in the world of criminal trials? When the gavel falls and the verdict is delivered, sometimes courtroom drama takes on a life of its own. Today, we invite you to dive into the riveting stories of five convicts whose court appearances left everyone in shock and awe. From audacious armed robbers to cold-blooded murderers, these individuals etched their names into the annals of legal history with unforgettable outbursts. Join us as we unravel the jaw-dropping moments that unfolded in the courtroom. Shondell Jackson. Shondell Jackson found himself facing murder charges in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. What? What was his crime? In 2010, he attempted to rob Nathan Potter, a student at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Throughout his trial, Jackson displayed an alarming lack of remorse for his actions. Even in the face of a heart-wrenching tragedy, he couldn't contain his smirks. The courtroom was in shock when the judge handed down a life sentence. As the judge delivered the life sentence, the courtroom witnessed an astonishing outburst from Jackson. He began swearing and cursing, not only at the judge, but also at the court officers. He don't need to be laying in no, no mill house building. He need, he need to go to prison, man. Come on, church. He want to play crazy. This created a chaotic and tense atmosphere within the courtroom. What made matters even worse was that some of Jackson's family members joined in on the chaos. They insulted the victim's mother, adding to the emotional turmoil of the moment. This dramatic and unruly display highlighted the stark contrast between Jackson's demeanor and the gravity of his crime, leaving a lasting impression on all who were present. Eric Penland. Now, let's uncover the gripping courtroom tale of Eric Penland, a man who faced child endangerment charges in Ohio. His conviction stemmed from a heartbreaking act, violently shaking his infant son, an act that left the innocent child permanently disabled. Throughout the trial, what stood out the most was Penland's surprising lack of remorse. Even though his actions had caused immense harm to his own child, Penland seemed completely unapologetic. But the most astonishing moment was yet to come. When the judge announced an 11-year prison sentence for Penland, the courtroom was thrown into chaos. Penland's frustration and disbelief overflowed, and he began using strong and disrespectful words towards the judge. Everyone in the courtroom, from the presiding judge to the spectators in the gallery, felt shocked as Penland's enraged words reverberated throughout the space. Man. I didn't do anything wrong, man. This unplanned outburst was a potent reminder that courts, which are frequently associated with solemnity and protocol, may sometimes develop into settings of heightened emotions and unexpected turns. The outburst of Penland's rage exposed the unadulterated humanity that lay beneath the legal proceedings in this particular case, which was distinguished by its underlying problems and complexity. It served as a clear example of how emotions, which may have been long controlled, might suddenly erupt upending the appearance of decorum and revealing the turbulent human nature that lies behind. I would submit to the court that this entire record is absolutely devoid of any remorse by the defendant. The crowd of onlookers who had gathered in quest of justice and resolution were forced to confront the unsettling truth that, even when seeking the truth, the human heart can harbor a tumult of conflicting emotions. Eric Penland's outburst reminds us that strong feelings can sometimes take over, making courtrooms unpredictable and leaving a lasting impact on those who witness them. Manson Bryant. Manson Bryant found himself in a courtroom in Ohio, facing a slew of charges, including robbery and abduction. His extensive history of criminal activity had led him to become a frequent visitor to Judge Lucci's courtroom. Initially, Bryant had presented a respectful demeanor during his trial. However, everything changed when he received his sentence, a daunting 22 years behind bars. In a shocking turn of events, Bryant unleashed a profanity-laced tirade, directed not only at the judge, but also at everyone present. His explosive outburst included derogatory language towards the judge. The court determines that you have or will have the ability to pay restitution. 
the court really racist. Accusing him of racism and showing disrespect for the courtroom. Despite Judge Lucci's efforts to maintain fairness, Bryant's actions led to additional charges being brought against him. Ultimately, Bryant's explosive behavior in the courtroom resulted in a longer sentence than originally handed down. The judge revised the sentence to 28 years as Bryant's disrespectful outburst left a profound impact on the proceedings. Dexter Johnson Dexter Johnson was the central figure in a grim case, facing murder charges in Houston. He, along with his accomplices, had carried out a carjacking that tragically resulted in the murder of Maria Aparisi and her boyfriend. During the trial, Dexter Johnson maintained an unsettling stone-faced demeanor, even when he admitted his involvement in the horrific crime. However, the courtroom was in for a shocking twist when the judge pronounced the death penalty for Johnson. This emotional outpouring left everyone in the courtroom stunned and puzzled. It was a moment that served as a stark reminder of the multifaceted nature of human emotions, even in the face of heinous crimes. Ricky Hand Ricky Hand, a man known for his long history of criminal activities, was facing multiple charges for armed robberies in Ohio. His audacious criminal spree finally met its end when he decided to target John's drive through in Springfield, Ohio, on a fateful night. As Ricky approached the store, the store owner, armed and ready, fired a warning shot to deter him. This sudden threat prompted Ricky to flee, but not before suffering gunshot wounds himself. The alarmed store owner promptly called 911 to report the attempted robbery. The gunshot wounds Ricky sustained led to his capture, and on that very night, the police questioned him. However, the real shocker came when Ricky was handed a 40-year prison sentence by the judge during his court trial. What made this courtroom scene truly insane was Ricky's shocking and disgusting act. He had secretly hidden pill bottles filled with his own feces and urine under his arm sling. In a moment that left everyone in the courtroom in disbelief, he flung these repulsive bottles at his own defense lawyer, creating utter chaos in the courtroom. This deplorable act earned Ricky additional charges, specifically five counts of harassment with bodily substances. In his misguided attempt to leave a lasting impression, Ricky succeeded in creating a truly unforgettable and disturbing moment in the courtroom. In the gripping world of criminal trials, these courtroom explosions serve as vivid reminders of the roller coaster of emotions that can unravel before our eyes. From shocking to oddly understandable, they peel back the layers of human nature when the stakes are at their highest. No two cases are alike, and within the hallowed halls of justice, one can expect the unexpected to become an integral part of the unfolding drama. In each of these riveting stories, we witness the potent cocktail of fear, anger, remorse, and defiance swirling in the hearts of the accused. Their actions, whether repulsive or heart-wrenching, leave an indelible mark on the proceedings forever etched into the memories of those who bear witness. Ultimately, the courtroom is a stage where justice seeks to find its path and the human psyche's intricacies unfold. These explosive moments remind us that beneath the veneer of order and decorum lies the raw, unfiltered essence of humanity. In the world of justice, no verdict is delivered without a story, and sometimes, it's the unexpected twists that make these stories truly unforgettable.